On the Amarillo skyline, no building is more easily identified with the character of the city than the Santa Fe building. The Santa Fe building is a true gem for all of the area. It's one of our first skyscrapers, and the restoration by Potter County is outstanding. It was originally finished in 1930 as the home of the Santa Fe Railway Company, representing an industry that helped create this land of opportunity. John Jenkins was the project architect for the restoration of the Santa Fe building undertaken by Potter County. Gothic Revival, <clears throat> the detail in the, the uh, terracotta stone on the walls and the roof are all based on Gothic uh, themes from the Middle Ages. We restore it to the as original as possible, especially the exterior, uh, the first floor lobby, auditorium on the 11th floor, part of the 12th floor, to restore it as much as we could to its original condition. Potter County Facilities Manager Mike Head shows us something original to the building in the auditorium. We have the original 1930 picture screen. I'm going to lower that for you to look at. The screen appears to be in pristine condition, hearkening back to a more romantic era. That right there shows where the old uh, movie projection room was. Uh, they would project their movies out of there, their programs, any event that they had here, they would show them this picture screen. Santa Fe never planned on building another building after this, similar to our county courthouse. The one that we currently restored, uh, it was meant to last forever, much different than today's technology. Then in 1995, uh, Potter County acquired the building. Then we found out that there was uh, TxDOT federal transportation money out there to help fund on the historic building. So actually this was a two-funded project. Potter County paid for part of it and uh, TxDOT paid for the other portion. During the uh, preservation project, we opened some walls up and we actually found a pair of these old boots within the walls. And we get to do business in it every day. We really don't appreciate it the way we should. Celebrating the panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC7 News.